cataractcoach.com. Slow motion of an amazing surgeon. We just featured a podcast with Dr. Nader Rostelli a couple days ago here on cataractcoach.com and everywhere podcasts can be found. It was an amazing podcast. You got to see the insight into such a brilliant surgeon who's incredibly talented. And we talked about how he made his surgery more and more efficient so he can do a hundred cataract surgeries in eight hours in one operating room with an incredible degree of safety and precision. No rush here, no speeding. Its speed comes naturally with efficiency. This is the video of one of his routine cataract cases. We're gonna watch it together first in regular real time, which is two minutes, and then slow it down to half time and watch it again at four minutes. I think you'll learn a lot and be sure to check out that podcast. You're missing so much if you don't learn from our Cataract Coach podcast. So slow down the video to half speed to analyze in detail, but first let me show you the whole video unedited in real time. This is Dr. Neto Rosatelli who's operating from Brazil. Main incision, paralysis already made. You can see the top left of your screen is a little timer from his recording device. This whole cataract surgery is two minutes. Now before you get wowed about two minutes, it's not about two minutes. It's not, it's not the reason, it's not about speed. It's about beautiful surgery, efficiency. It's a beautiful ballet, not a single wasted move the entire case. Efficiency of movement, one grab for the rexus, watch this. Two grabs for the rexus, and another three grabs and he's done. And beautiful pivoting technique, a beautiful five millimeter rexus just that efficient. Now, hydro resection being done, just a couple of waves, all you needed. He had a good amount of fluid wave going across, so he knows it's already dissected. Nuke is gonna be split immediately, chopper in, probe it, done, done. Now, the famous Rosatelli spin. He's gonna spin the nucleus around and around and around. He has got excellent hands and has done this thousands of times, but that allows him to free up the cortex as well. So now those nuclear pieces are removed very efficiently. It's a pretty average cataract, maybe two plus nuclear sclerosis. There's the epinuclear shell. And now watch, cleaning up the capture bag with just the FACO probe. Now this obviously takes a lot of skill. This is not an easy technique. Chopper to hold the capsule back at that last strand of cortex is removed. Now for the IOL, technician's already loaded it up. He's gonna do hydro implantation. So left hand's gonna be infusion to infuse the eye with BSS. Right hand injects the lens in the capsule bag. It goes right in. There's no more viscoelastic to be washed out. It's already been washed out and cleaned. Just seal up the incisions. And just like that, the case is done. Wow, what a beautiful surgery. So, so efficient. Now, we gotta watch this video at half speed. Here's half speed now. Half speed. So now there's the main incision. Notice how he nicks limbal vessels. The dull sides of the keratome are holding the eye still and fixating it, while the left hand uses a needle or other instrument to make a paracentesis. Done. Look at the nicking of the limbal vessels. Good architecture in the incision. Really beautifully done. Now here's looks like some anesthetic going on top of the eye and inside the eye. There you go. And again, this is half speed. This is really half speed. The top left of the corner there on your screen shows the actual counter and you can see every second that goes by that is actually two seconds in, in, in your view. Here comes the HPMC hydroxypropylmethacellulose. That's a dispersive viscoelastic. And that goes in filling the eye. And now his sharp tip forceps, gonna go inside and start the rexus. Going in sideways with those, now poking in. And now getting the rexus edge started, one grab and 120 degrees done. Two grabs, look at the sweeping motion, how he pivots in the incision, the trick of that pivot. And here's the third grab. So just three grabs and a full 360 is done. So about 120 degrees of Rex is done per grab. Nothing wasted. Now, hydro dissection, look, just one clean wave and he's short goes all the way across. Tap the nucleus, again, a little hydro delineation, done. All it takes. Now the faker probe is going to go inside the eye to fixate the, the cataract. And then the chopper is going to go there around. Looks like a Nagahara style chopper or some other technique. Going around there, horizontal chop. Going with the chopper around the nucleus equator. And then just fixating it with the probe and then chopping it. Two halves. Now here's the famous Rosatelli sweep where he rotates that nucleus rapidly around and around and around. And this frees up all that cortex. And this is why he's able to skip the cortex removal step because it all comes out with the phaco probe. 
So now, once that's done, just high flow settings undoubtedly and aspirating with a bare minimal amount of phaco energy to get into the nuclear pieces and just take them and go e emulsify them very easily. Once that endonuclease is done, it's just that epinuclear shell and it keeps that intact. Notice how it's mostly vacuum for the epinuclear shell, very little phaco energy. So it stays intact in one piece, done. Now that little bit of cortex, you just can use the phaco probe, very precisely placing it to aspirate that. And now look at this slick move. He's gonna use the chopper to push the capsular bag back. There's that last strand there. Now to the right, there's one strand left. So we'll use the chopper to keep the bag away and then aspirate that little strand of cortex. Now, I don't recommend this for a new surgeon. If you're a novice surgeon or beginning surgeon, if you've done less than a few thousand cases, just use the IA probe. And now for hydro implantation, no need to fill the out the cohesive viscoelastic. He's going to use the bimanual irrigator here and keep the eye inflated. This will inflate the capsular bag here. So with enough infusion pressure, the AC is formed and the bag's inflated. Now the right hand can deliver that lens and that same AC infuser can be used to push that lens and dial it into the capsular bag. And now you can see you have a beautiful overlap of the optic by that capsular rexus. Lens is perfectly positioned. And now just seal up the incisions. So wow, super efficient. Check out Dr. Rosatelli's channel on YouTube. It's really fantastic to watch Malpert. He's an incredibly gifted surgeon. And he's a very humble, sweet guy who shares all his secrets with you as well. So this is him doing a very efficient surgery and we watched it in real time in two minutes and then half time in four minutes. And wow, both were very impressive.